appears there are so many things about you that you did not tell me. I have told you everything about me. Except the irrelevant ones. So knowing the father of your son is not relevant? I don't like talking about it. Well, now you need to talk about it. I'm all ears. <sighs> okay. I'll tell you. I'm listening. I have the money. I have loaded. My father is one of the richest men in this town. Uh, Your father is rich? As a matter of fact, he's a senator. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's in the ocean. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to show myself so that they will not kidnap me. Please, I'm no. Please. Make an arrangement. I want to meet him up before the school closes. Well, I will just get him right away. He gets, I see the hot, I see the hot like this now. We can't come to the mall with the same back. We will be good now. Ask me who Jed, you don't know who the Come on, they go inside. Can you just start of this, please? Just start of this. Come on. I've not seen you a So how much do you put in? Okay, three million. Uh, that would be enough for us to to send you some of the goods. Yeah, we're we'll, we'll going to send you some of the goods. Yes. What of you come? Come. Yeah, let me call you back. What is that on your arm? It's nothing, Dad. Sorry, it's nothing and you're just carrying bruises on your arm? Dad, she was flogged by her English teacher. Like a stop. Leave me alone. Dad, the name of her English teacher is Uncle Jude. He has formed the habit of flogging her every day in school. Oh my God. And you never told me? Okay, fine. Um, we're going back to that school now. And we're going to see that teacher. I want to know why he flogged you to this extent. Uh, go back to the car. Let me get my shoes. <laughs> Thank you. 
I am going to ask you nicely and uh, I want you to be nice with me too. What do you have with Anderlin? I don't have anything with Anderlin, Eddie. I don't have anything with Anderlin. What, I, I don't have anything with Anderlin, believe me. <laughs> you see, I am your friend. I don't want to hurt you. So I want you to tell me the truth. Believe me, Andy. Believe me. I don't have anything with her. This guy is just a chronic liar. And it's very obvious that he's lying. Guys, maybe be down small now. Look at this no, guy no, now. No, 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 just relax. See, my guy. I'm being so nice to you now. I'm smiling with you. I might not smile with you tomorrow. I want you to stay away from Andalyn. If she's coming through a direction, you follow the other direction. Have I made myself clear? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I am not a nice guy. Today is just your lucky day. Thank you, Eddie. <clears throat> I guess I'm this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Why could he discharge this guy now? When you know he was actually lying to you? Eh? If I just touch her hands more now. Eh? I know what I'm doing. You see, one does not test the depth of a river with both foot. You have to tread with caution. Eddie, we for touch this guy hands more. Now waiting, I just they tell you, eh? Which one be just they discharge him like that? Is she the one? I thought you had to go home. Yes. So why did you come back? My dad came to warn Uncle Jude to stop flogging my sister. Your dad, I don't understand. Uncle Jude has been forcing my sister to be his girlfriend, but she refused. And then he resorted to flogging her every day. <laughs> that sounds funny. It's not funny. Listen, I need to see that guy. He cannot flog my daughter this way. Just, just look at her. Chief, look at what he did to her. Just Chief, look at her hands. Chief, I'm so sorry. We are taking care of this. We are on the matter already. And I'm still speaking to you. We are treating it already. You're working on what? Take care of what? Now, listen to me. I will not take it. In fact, I'm going to look. Sir, please. Chief, we are sorry, sir. Chief. Are you blocking me? No, sir. Sir, please, for the sake of humanity, please. Please, Sochi. I'm going to warn you. I'm dropping this warning for you. I would love to meet your father someday. You will. But for now, I have some more important to do. To you. Some other time. Okay, it's okay. All right, take care. Tell your principal or whoever it is, okay? If this ever happens again, I would do everything possible to shut this school down. Sorry, my ass. I care about this girl so much. They mean a lot to me. Please, be warned. Tell your principal, whoever is in charge, that this is not, this is a no-no. A no-no for me. Okay? Is a problem. Oh, rubbish. Uh -uh. What are you doing here? I, I, I thought you guys have gone home. Daddy came to warn Uncle Jude. That, that, that is here. That is here. What are you doing here? Sweet and beautiful, the way you dey move your body, it dey make man go crazy. And that is baby. 
You sweet and beautiful. The way you day when your body. Wow, should I say you're sensational or you're... I mean, even in your school uniform, you still look gorgeous. Can we just go down to business? Oh, business. I like people that are business-minded. So, you know, as a president with a big machine, I would like you to... My thing. Like, can we spend some time? Somewhere cool. What will it cost? Well, it will cost you fifty thousand. Oh, I, I I think you forgot to add something. Only, I mean, it should be fifty thousand only. Give me a second. So, I make you hundred. How about that? 100,000. It's nothing. That's what friends call me anyway. It's nothing, then I'm okay, you know? Your beauty is no destruction to you. I'm the lead. Take it easy. Before you destroy yourself. <laughs> Before you destroy your future, baby, baby, Maragua, Maragua, you know, we'll soon be done with secondary school, and soon we'll leave for the university, and then you will be left all alone in this big house. And that's not true. But I'm not complaining. Well, that is because we are still around. Once we leave for the university, you're going to feel our absence. So, have you forgotten your dad is a strong man? Hmm? Daddy, hmm? this has nothing to do with being strong. We need you to get married. <laughs> On a more serious note, Daddy, you need to find someone who will keep you company once we leave this house. Yes. And yeah, that's so true. But, um, what do I need a woman for anyway? Nick already said it all. Loneliness is a great disease. And we do not want you to catch up with you once you leave for the university. Oh well. That's so thoughtful of you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll think about it. Sounds nice. And I'll get back to you, okay? Okay. Sounds better. <laughs>
And why did you not join us at the dining? Uh, I was busy. I I was busy with my assignment. I I'll join you guys later. Assignment? And why is the room reeking of air freshener? Oh, because I made use of the restroom, so I had to. Because you're coming, I had to make everywhere smell nice. Dad, why are you staring at me like that? You don't believe what I was saying, right? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Depending on what you're thinking, Dad, I just told you nothing but the truth. Observing you. Okay, fine. I just go out on um, um. Okay, so tell me, how did you spend your weekend? Mm, with our dad, and it was awesome. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. I guess he took you girls for shopping. Mm -hmm. Yes, he never misses that. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I had a dad like yours. And it was awesome. <laughs> Hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I guess he took you girls for shopping. Mm -hmm. Yes, he never misses that. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I had a dad like yours. <clears throat> Before you change this discussion to a moody one, how did you spend your weekend? With the big boys, as usual. And it was fun. Wait, do you do that every weekend? Yes, my love, I do it every weekend. There is no dull moment with me. You need to see the way these guys spent money in club. Goodness, it was mad. I had mad fun. Andalyn, you really need to be careful. Hey, Felice here. Yeah? You don't need to advise me. I mean, I've, I've been careful. I am always careful. All right, girls. Here is time for our mathematics class. Let's go inside. Hello. Good afternoon. Who are you? Oh. Principal. It was a good thing you called. Did they tell you I came to the school on Friday? It must never happen again. Never. Ever. You see, my girls are special to me. And they must be treated with care. How can you flog the girl just like that? That's someone's child. He, he terribly injured her. That's wrong. Well, I already told him, I'm not angry. I stopped being angry. You know, but it must never happen again. Because if it does, I will get my lawyer and I will sue your school. I will take you to court. And nobody can beg me out of it. You're welcome.
for? What is it? I want to speak to you. Alone. We are going somewhere. Now! Neko, please wait for me there. You heard her. Run along. Make it quick. Run along. What do you want? Sochi, I'm in love with you. I love you so much. I like you too, but... Shh! You like me too. You possess me. I feel like... I feel like eating you all. Okay, I'll let you go because I have a sister here. You're still. You requested to see me. Oh, yeah. Thanks for honoring my invitation. Um, Anderlene, can we talk? About what? About you and I. You see, Anderlene, I like you. I like you a lot. And I, I want you to be my woman. My answer remains the same. I don't do secondary school boys. Oh. <laughs> really? See, Andaline, I... I want you to see me beyond this uniform I'm putting on. What I have inside of me is beyond secondary school. I'm a man and I can take care of you. My point is clear. And there is no going back. Don't bother me with this nonsense. Listen, okay. I'm going to get you. She walked out of me. I will still get you, no matter what you do, no matter how stubborn you claim to be. You know, you, you just want to be a stubborn fly, right? I'll show you what I'm made of. And um, Martins is turning this into molestation, and I don't like it. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. I don't like the way he treats you. I will handle it, okay? Well, it doesn't look like something you can handle. So I'll just have to tell Dad about it. No, 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 no. Please. You don't need to involve Dad in this. Give me one reason I shouldn't. Because Dad will lock him up in the police cell. And he may not come out anytime soon. That is where he belongs. He doesn't belong in the school environment. Doesn't look like a student to you. He behaves like a doubt. Neka, I understand how you feel in all of this. But please, allow me to handle it my own way. Please. I'll just give you the benefit of doubt. And if he continues behaving like this, I'll have no other option than to report to Dad. Mm. 
Good afternoon, Mr. Simone. Good afternoon, Anne Lee. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Mm. Did you request that to see me? Yes, um, on a quick one, yeah. There are um, a couple of my friends that are in town, um, so they want to kind of hold a party. So I'll be needing you to organize some shima, you know, beautiful girls for, for the party. Okay, what's the party all about? Um, mm, nothing much. You know, it's a couple of millionaires that, you know, they like to have fun. When there is no occasion, they create one just so some people could be beneficiaries to their money. So that's just it. Okay, that's not going to be a problem. So how many girls are we looking at? Um, let's say 10. Ten girls will be fine. Just ten. Yeah. Ten. Mm hmm Okay. I'll bring them. Perfect. And before they arrive at the party, you are going to transfer their tickets and each for them. For the ten girls? Yes. That's three hundred. Okay. Their ticket each. Okay. Consider it done. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do that and even add yours. So okay. have a day. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right. So I will see you around. Okay. You get the money, yeah? Bye. All right, see you. I'm waiting. No problem. you've been giving her time to know you know to cooperate and she's not cooperating with you i think it's it's high time you just do it your own way i was even about saying that i know she can't continue to me down now yes she can i think we just have to do something about it so what do you suggest i do um okay this this is what's going to happen okay um We'll get her, you know, drug her, relax. Then we'll take her to the bush, you know, and then you, we have you come enjoy the beautiful flesh in between her legs. And after that, you can forget about her. <laughs> Very okay. smart. Brain bugs. <laughs> Brain bugs. You know, that's not a bad idea, you know. But that's if you guys are going to do the way you just mentioned it now. Yeah, sure, why not? It will take us on the charge now. <laughs> Eddie, consider it done. Are you going to do it for me? <laughs> sure. Consider it done. Huh. Okay? And the name. Uh, if, 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 if I you, am coming for you. Maybe you, you can also ask us to join you and chop small. Um, uh, you know, as your guy uh, is. You know, now for your own matter, go help you run on, but this one now on my own package, you understand? No, oh, help you. Oh, I, I was you just understand? saying, not like I meant. Um, so, just consider it done. So, finally, I am going to swim in between Andalus' leg, you understand? <laughs> Bad guy! By the time my mighty anaconda in between the two legs. For a mind, you know, finish work. <laughs> I have a deal I want both of you to be part of. And what kind of deal is that? There's a party coming up in three days. And I need you two to be part of it. I mean, let's roll with big boys. You all should stop this thing you're doing. And before you leave, I'll credit you with 20,000 naira each. We are not interested. You have not even asked me where the party is taking place. There's no point asking. 
We are not interested. <gasps> okay. You are not interested. Well understood. How about you, Sachi? She is not interested. Can you let her speak for herself? I mean, she's old enough to decide. We are not going to any party with you. And I mean, we are in school to study and not to go after men. And I will advise you to focus more on your studies. Keep your advice to yourself. This is the exact lifestyle mom advised us against. And we are not going to give in to it. Never. Can you imagine? Underline, retrieve your steps right now. Underline, a stitch in time, safe now. Underline, no, baby. I admire her a lot. Her gods. Composure and boldness. I like her too. And um, I've been meaning to say something. I'm thinking if we can approach her for her to link us up. I don't think she will agree. <laughs> yeah, I understand. But even if she does not agree, let it be on the book that we tried for us to be linked up and we failed. You are right. After class today, we'll go talk to her. Right? Are you okay now? Yes, I'm, f I'm fine. Okay. I can't, I can't just wait to, to meet her. For your mind. Like, I admire her so much. Oh my God. Eddie! Dad. I perceive a foul smell. What's smell? Um, uh, I... Oh, the, the neighbors. I guess they're smoking again. You're welcome, Dad. And why are you not in school? Uh, Dad, I... I wasn't feeling too strong in school, so... The principal noticed and he asked me to go home. You're not feeling fine? Yes, Dad. You're not feeling fine? Yes, Dad. What is wrong with you? 
Huh? What is wrong with you? Oh, um, I, I was having slight headache and um, at the same time I was feeling dizzy. So I guess it's malaria or something. Probably typhoid. Okay. All right. Malaria, typhoid, pneumonia. Okay. In a bit, we will go to the hospital. Okay. Ah. Uh, let me just get to this. Um, that, that, that. Yes. Um. Oh. Um, nothing. Fine. Get ready. We'll go to the hospital. T today. Right now. But. Hey. It's time we end our friendship with Andalin. Why? Why are you asking me why? Like you don't know the reason I'm saying this. I don't think ending the friendship will solve the problem. It will solve the problem. I mean, this girl is lost. She, she's carried away. She's lost in whatever she, she, she's doing. See, to prevent her from infecting us with her dirty lifestyle, the best thing is to walk away. Even if we are going to walk away, we need to do it diplomatically. And what do you suggest we do? We are going to talk about that later. Let's go. Let's go. We don't need to worry too much. Again, it's becoming frustrating. I know. I'm not in love, baby. You're sweet and beautiful, the way you dey move your body. You dey make man go crazy, and that is no baby. You're sweet and beautiful, the way you dey. You girls kept me waiting, so we're just copying notes. Okay, I have a deal that will pay you twenty thousand naira each for just a day. What? what? <laughs> yes. You're interested. You yes. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Okay, here is the deal. Some big boys will be in town in three days. They are coming to spend their money. And they need some beautiful girls like us that will help them lavish the money. I'm interested. Everything you need will be made available. So what do you say? I'm interested. So where is the party taking place? I can't wait. <laughs> okay. I I will keep you posted. Okay. Deal. Bye. <laughs> My dad is back. On no circumstance, you step out of this place so you don't put me in troubles. Um, I noticed it when his car drove into the compound. Please help me with the food, I'm famished. <sighs> I repeat myself, on no circumstance must you step out of this place. I beg, give me a spoon. I don't hear you now. You don't give me this orientation before. No need for you to repeat it. If it worth me to repeat it a thousand times, I will say it. Don't step out of this place so that you don't put me in troubles. No, Ted. Have I made myself clear? Sure. I have to go and meet my father right now so that he doesn't suspect anything. No problem. I'll be right back in a jiffy. Oh. Um, please, don't stay too long. And don't step out of this place.
Last week we talked about tertiary accounts. But today we are going to be talking about company accounts. For as many of you that are preparing yourself that when you get to university, you're going to be studying accounting and a reality course. This is, yes. this is where you need to start from. Now, company account is the consolidation and the resolution of every company's activities for the year. In fact, it is the inflow and outflow of cash statements and activities for every company. And this, from what you know before, it deals with bank statements and trading, profit and loss accounts. So we did two of this before I go to the bank. Can anyone tell me what this company is the sound like? Mm -hmm. That's so nice. It's so that we are moving. All right, Andrea. Mm -hmm. So, from my own understanding, I think the company's account is the inflow of the outflow. It shows that I have greater students in my class. So, you as an entity, you can actually own a company. A company where you are so independent, where you do you know, buying and selling of goods. You can take stock of what you have. You can already you can originate what you spend with your capital. So that at the end of every store, you should be able to know if you're making progress or not. So with this bit of understanding, I believe you will get to know all that thing and it's all about. Let's proceed. You're eating another food, Eddie. I, I I don't understand that. How do you mean? I saw you walk into your room with a food flask. When? How? When, when did you see that? I know what I saw. So don't even deny. Dad, I, I don't understand what you're saying. Besides, you know very well that I don't like eating in my room. Why, why are you sounding that I way? I know. And that was what raised my curiosity. When I saw you walking into your room with a food flask, I wondered. Dad, I never walked into my room you with a food flask. You raise your voice on me! I'm, I'm sorry. I just... I hope it's not what I think. Dad, you, you've started again. What are you thinking? That you brought a girl to my house. Oh. What do you girls want? We want to belong. We want to join your gang. I don't belong to any gang. We are not talking about gang as per se. So, what are you talking about? You are a happening girl in this school. You take care of yourself without depending on your parents or anyone. That's what we want for ourselves. <laughs> now I get it. There is a big party coming up in three days. You girls should attend it. We can sit down and talk more. Wow. We'll, we'll be attend. There. We'll be there, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I, 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 I told you, 
I told you there is no girl in this room. But, but you didn't believe me, Dad. I don't believe you. Dad, why are you being so curious? Why is it that you don't even believe whatever I tell you? You don't trust me, Dad? And why don't I believe you these days? I don't know, Dad. Do you see? Did you see whatever you're looking for? Did you see anybody here? There is no girl in this room. Now, let me give you this plain warning. So you don't ever say I never warned you. If I ever see a girl in this room, in this house, I will skin you alive. Okay, fine. Now you didn't see what you're looking for. What's the next step? Open this door from Mapuganya Kita. Where is this girl? Where, where, where is she? Andalin. Yeah, I have nine girls that are willing to attend the party. Oh, why nine though? I thought we agreed for ten girls. A anyway, that's fine. That's fine. So when am I getting the money in my account? Um, this evening. Network has been bad. Otherwise, I would have, you know, money is not um slow's problem. This evening, okay. So how do we locate the place? Um, I think I, I I probably drive around so your your own car or bus, whatever you guys are using, will just drive after me. All right, that's better. I'll be waiting. All right, in less than an hour, I'll wire. Okay. Make sure there are beautiful girls. Beautiful girls. Sure, I will. Talk later. Bye. It's about to go down. Hey, my guy, what's up now? Ah, uh, my, it's not. Oh, God, I do. I do well, not you. I do not say you, know, my guy. Man. Hey, that reminds me. Did you see that band where I can come today? Which of them? That, that girl that, that came with this afternoon. Which kind of question with her? You know, see, I'm. She be inside your room. I, I, I don't understand. You mean she didn't come out? You, no, you didn't I, see her anywhere in this no, compound? No, I never see. I never, I never see anybody. Um, no, 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 no problem. Just, just go. Okay. How oh, there's no problem? No, no, everything is fine. Okay. Where is this girl? And Alina has finally set the school on fire. I wonder the kind of power she has in her thong. Exactly the same question I've been asking myself. I mean, how was she able to convince that number of students to attend the party with her? The reason is simple. She must have told them the amount of money involved in this. That's it. Huh. I detect everything about that girl. I mean, no man in his right senses would want to have anything to do with her, knowing the kind of person she is. You're right. But this is the irony of life. Our brother is dying for our love. What did he say? You heard me. <clears throat> Wait, what? I will not allow Eddie to have anything to do with that girl, not when I'm still alive.
Tell me, where have you been? I heard you and your father arguing, so I took a walk before you guys get here. You're smart. You know, right? And that is why I like you a lot. But not more than you like Adeline. Why did you mention that name? I don't understand. We have to talk about her. Edie, tell me. What is so special about her that you choose to do everything just to have her? I don't want to have this discussion with you. Don't mention her name next time with me. Really? I want to go. What do you mean you all want to go? Hey, come on. We still have unfinished business, you know, right? I don't think I have any unfinished business with you. So I want to go. Are you, are you being serious? You know you're going to put me in trouble if you step out of this place. I don't care. Since you don't want to tell me your relationship with Adeline, then I should go. Let's talk about this one. That's the most important thing right now. This particular one. Yeah. I understand. I'm dead in love, baby. You're sweet and beautiful. The way you dare move your body. They make man go crazy and let him know, baby. You're sweet and beautiful. The way you way you're there on your body. They make men go crazy. She gets everything. Sexy Andalin. What's up? I'm okay. Cool. Where are the girls? You are supposed to balance me 30 kids. Come on, Andalin. You know money is not my problem. You do like money. You like money. Give it to me, please. Ah! You are money. You like money. Hmm? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, thick. Mm. So I hope it's complete. Of course, you should know it's more than you see, I didn't count it. So you should call them, let's go, because my guys are waiting already. Waiting. You're on the way. I'm waiting for them. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to keep me waiting. Can we go now? I am waiting for them to pick me. Relax yourself, don't you trust me? I trust you, I trust you. Don't worry, I'll see you guys. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, babe. You are not supposed to be calling me by this time of the night. What do you want? See, I want to see you right now. It's very urgent, very important. What? It is not possible. My father will not allow me to come outside the compound by this time of the night. You know what? Fine, fine. I'll come into your compound now. No, 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 no. Stay there. I'm coming. Hurry up, please. What kind of problem is this? Excuse me, what is your problem? Why are you stopping me? Why are you acting so strange? What what is your problem? Don't get on my nerves. You don't like me. Do you understand? So respect yourself. Let, let's do this thing once and for all. What define what? Come here. Leave me. We have to define this. Else I am not doing anything with define you. Define what? Who am I to you? Who am I to you? Hey, I want to ask you a question. Do you have some mental problem? Ah, tell me. Why is it that every time we have something important to do, you, you come about, who am I to you? What is really your problem? Hey, don't stop me next time. Don't try this next time. Do you understand? Come, come here. 
Mm. What is difficult for you to understand there? What? I want to know my place in your life. Who am I? Hey, you are in my father's house. You better raise down your voice. Okay, fine. I want to know my position in your life. Tell me, Eddie, who am I to you? Or am I asking too much? <sighs> this is not the right time for us to talk about this. All right? So you better comport yourself. And let's get to work. As you're not going to like my reaction. Then we are not doing anything. You are not going to disobey me in my father's heart, right? And if I do, what will you do? Gladys, I don't want you to test the other part of me. You will not like me. Just come. Said we are not doing anything. with you why do you call me by this time of the night calm down see there's a very big party going on in this town this night virtually all the students are in that party as we speak including your friend and yeah i know about the party she invited me and my sister but we declined she did yes she did you know i i I came here to confirm that you didn't go for that party. What? Yes. Babe, I love you so much. I value you. I can't risk you for anything in this world. So I came here to confirm that you're safe. I do not like you going around with such person. Now I'm convinced you're safe and sound. Anyways, it's getting late, actually. I have to be on my way. See you tomorrow in school. All right. All right. I run along now. Okay. All right. See you tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow, eh? Should be. Wait. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Did she attend the party? Ah, no. So she cannot take such a decision without my knowledge. But where did she go to?
Where are you coming from? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. And what are you thinking? That you're becoming wayward and irresponsible. How dare you sneak out of the house by this time of the night without letting me know? God forbid. Why will you say such? Where are you coming from? Answer my question. I went to see Martins. You went to his house to see him? No, he was here. He came to our house to see you? It's not what you think. So what is it? Start explaining because I don't understand. He came to confirm if we are the party. Is that all? Yes. Then he must be very stupid to think we will be in such gathering. Move to the room. So you girls means not like it's some good news. So stop being excited. What do you mean it's not like it's some good news? The students are discussing what they did at the party with men and how they got paid. Is that a good news? Well, that's their business. Yeah, but pray it doesn't become your business when it gets to the principal. I will deny them. I am so going to deny those girls. You don't know me. Anderlin, I think it's high time you stop this life you're living. It will lead you nowhere. Oh, please. I hate it when you advise me, so stop it. Don't. Anderlin, we will not stop telling you the truth. Don't. Anderlin, you are our friend. Shut up, shut up. And we will not stop telling you shut the up. truth. Shut up. What is it? Are you aware that one of the students that went with you to that party last night did not return? I don't know what you're talking about. You do not know what I'm talking about. Yes. Well, if I were you, I'll contact the guy and ask him to provide substantial information about the missing girl. You speak in parables, so I still do not know what you're talking about. Very well then. But once the news of this girl's disappearance goes into public, I, Martins, will not hesitate to pin you down. I've got my eyes. How did you know about the party? Wait a minute. Was one of the girls missing? Slow. Slow, you have some questions to answer. It didn't sound well on the phone. Yes. What happened? No, everything is not okay. One of the girls did not return. Oh, Dad. Yeah, I know. What? And you didn't bother to tell me. But you should have known. I mean, okay. How did you find out? Martins told me. Martins? How did he know? I don't know. I was even shocked when he said it. And I'm sure most of the students are aware of it now. Hmm. This Martins seemed to have developed a bucket mouth. Show me Martin's picture. I need to have a chick chat with him. 
Ya. Yeah. Relax, it, it is. There is nothing Sloan cannot handle. I'll handle it. Trust me. I'll handle it. Sweet and beautiful, the way you dey move your body, you dey make man go crazy. And that is no baby. You sweet and beautiful, the way you dey wind your body, you dey make men go crazy. Why are you harassing me? Why are you harassing me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? You must have some nerves. It's either you're stupid or you are senseless. You see a hunter with a dog. You call the ass. Oh, as an Indomie generation, you will be thinking this is a toy. <laughs> Please. Please spare my life, please. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Please don't shoot me. How wide was your mouth when you were talking of what you didn't know? I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. How did you know about the girl? How did you know about the girl I missed? I was an insider. Who told you? Please just spare my life, okay? I will never Who say... told you? How many people did you share it with? How many people? Oh, just three persons. No, oh, only three persons. No, three persons. Just three persons. Uh, just three persons. That's all. But I will never say anything to anybody again. I will never. My mouth is shut forever. I will never say anything to anybody again. Please just spare my life. Be cool. Are you sure? Be, be cool. Be cool. I will never say anything to anybody again. Are you sure? Yes, I'm. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sure. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank it's you, okay. sir. Take your bag. You can go. I should take my bag. Mm -hmm. Go from here. No, you can go from here. Go from here. Yeah, go from here. Sissy, it was a very wonderful experience last night. Ha! Huh? Honestly, Amanda. I can't wait for such opportunity to come by again. Exactly. Do you know the guy I was with gave me extra 15k after everything? Are you serious? I'm telling you. Mine actually gave me 20,000. And guess what? He gave me his phone number. What? Yes, of wow. That means we can be doing our thing without the knowledge of Anderlin. Of course. Hmm. Funko, you are very smart to have collected his I number. I know. <laughs> It's me now, eh? Cecilia. I don't sleep on top of moving bike. I know, right? Yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Sissy, I haven't seen my period since last month. Huh? Me too. What? That means we are pregnant. God forbid. My parents will kill me. What do we do? I think we should see Andelin first and know what she has to say about this because... Oh, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I'll keep this discussion 
brief. So you can retire to your rooms. Okay, Daddy. Um, okay, that we we are listening. Are you sure? You wanna hear this? Yes, Daddy. <laughs> I have found the woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Yes! Wow! Best news of the day. Dad, are you serious? That's a great news. Daddy! Who is she and what does she look like? Oh, yes. Uh, I will keep her identity for now from you so that, you know, you know, for now. Just know that your daddy has an eye for good things. Daddy, why? Telling us what she looks like won't be a bad idea. Okay, I, I'll be inviting her over for dinner this weekend. And um, so you can get to meet and know her. This weekend? Okay, daddy, that's fine. <laughs> but I just hope she's beautiful. Because if she's not, she won't be welcome here. Charming is the word. Mm. Wow. I trust my daddy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sweet. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I am so happy. Wow, that's that's one of the best news I've had tonight. Seriously. I trust my father. <laughs> it is awesome. Wow. Uh, Great. I <laughs> Great news, great news all the time. That's my father. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, Dad. Good night. All right. Yay! Dad. Yes. That girl should be extremely, like, extremely beautiful. Trust your dad. Oh, Daddy, this is this is great. I mean, I love it. I love it. <laughs> You have a beautiful place. Thank you. And I must say, it cost you a whole lot to erect this structure. Yeah, I love my comfort. And I'll go to any length to get my comfort. <sighs> Sounds nice. Let's go in. Sure. Shall we? Of course. Charming girl that brightens my world. Who? Andalyn, my new bride. Dad, please, if this is a joke, I humbly suggest you stop. Please. It's not a joke. Oh, please make yourself comfortable, okay? Dad, you will not marry her. 
Never. Yes. You won't marry her. What's going on here? What's going on? I never let this happen. Never. Not when we are still alive. We will allow that to get married to her. Never. It's not going to happen. Now, what was that you both did out there at the dining? Dad, please. You need to forget about Andalina and, and look for some other girl. There are so many beautiful girls in the city. You can go for them. Why Andalin? Why? Because she's not the right woman for you. The question remains, why? Daddy, she just gave you the answer to your question. Maybe you should go back in there and ask Andalin why we rejected her. And maybe I need to remind both of you that you talked me into getting another woman. And now I'm at the verge of getting a woman. All you could do is say no. Dad, Andalin is not the right person for you. She's not. You had better both come back. Let me do proper introduction, okay? Dad. Her coming to this house is dead on arrival. There is no need for any introduction. They rejecting you? I don't know. They said you know, and I need you to tell me. I, I want to go home. Is that all? Is that all you can say? My brother is a lawyer. And he once told me that he or she that alleges must prove. <laughs> Why are you being diplomatic here? I am not. I mean, not at all. They are the ones that rejected me. So they should tell you their reason. Please, take me home. of this rubbish. Whatever it is you're planning will not work. The earlier you understand this, the better for all of us. It has already worked. And I will advise you start seeing me as your stepmother over my dead body. In your dreams. Your father is in love with me. And I'm in love with him too. That's the only bond we need to be together. And Aline, you are trending on a dangerous path. And I will advise you to retrace your first step. I mean it already, baby girl. Yes, and there is no going back. <laughs> Look, you're playing with fire, Andalin. You're playing with fire. And you see this fire you're staring up right here? It will burn hotter than you ever imagined. Okay, bring it on, baby girl. Bring it on! <sighs> Alright then. Let's see how this plays out. You cannot do anything. Neka, let's go. You can't do anything. Oh, Shut out! <laughs> not to show me strength. My taxi. You don't need to be told now. You should know better. You two should know better. Get out! 
Get out! Foolish girls. Good afternoon. And how are you? I'm fine, Dad. I'm good. I want us to talk. Okay. Fine. I am having this discussion with you because I... I feel you'll understand me better. Very soon you will be going to the university and I'll be alone in this house. I need a woman in my life. So, I don't get lonely. You will be gone and I'll be lonely. And that's the reason why I want to marry Andalin. <laughs> Dad, I I am not against you getting married again, but it, your choice of getting married to Andalin is wrong, Dad. She's not the right person for you, Dad. And why do you think she's not the right person? Um, Dad, Andalin is living a wayward life. And she doesn't suit your personality, Dad. Let me tell you the truth. She has a child. That I am telling you nothing but the truth, Dad. She dropped out of secondary school because she had a child when she was in SS3. You see, I... I have a lot to tell you about her. That's if you... If you pay attention to me, Dad. We need to do something to stop that from marrying her. She can't be our stepmom. Maybe we should fight her. Fight her? Fighting her is not enough. We need to do something more convincing and strategic. Something like what? Maybe we tell that the kind of life she lived back in secondary school. Mandalin has no shame. She must have told that everything. So there's no point. I don't think so. No. But even if she has, we need to stand our ground and make sure that he doesn't marry her. You didn't sound well over the phone. Not really. I'm not fine. Hope all is well. <laughs> not exactly. 
And that's why I, I want to talk to you. Okay. My kids have been on my neck to remarry. Okay. And when eventually I found a woman, they said no. What could be the reason? Um, that's, they know her from somewhere and she has a child out of wedlock. That's not enough reason for them to say no. Exactly my point. Please, I need you to talk to them. <laughs> talk to them so they can see reasons why they have to consent. I will talk to them, my brother. You see, um, I will let them see reason why they should support your marriage. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'll do that. Thank you. <sighs> don't worry, don't worry. I will do that. Okay? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, is that right? Yeah, we'll keep um, talking on the phone. All right, let me go my way. Mm. All right. Hello, my angel. And how are you? Why are you crying? Eddie did what? <sighs> well, first of all, let me apologize on his behalf. And second, I have to, uh, let me assure you that um, no such things will happen, okay? It will not, never happen. I'll make sure it doesn't happen. No, 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 come on. Come on. Eddie is my son. I should be able to handle him. I'm more than sure. Okay, just come and smile for me, okay? Smile for us. Hmm? Smile, come on. All right, I'll see you soon, okay? So Eddie now has the guts to threaten my woman. Okay, we shall see. I'll wait for him in this house. We'll sort it out. To me, I didn't see having a child out of wedlock as a bad thing. Uncle, we didn't say it's a bad thing. Then what is your point? Andalene is corrupt. She lived a bad life in the past. She doesn't even know the father of her son. What? Exactly what you heard, Uncle. And Aline is promiscuous. I hope your father is aware of this. No, no. That is the hard truth you will not want my father to know about. It's all right. Um, thanks for your time. But meanwhile, I hope you guess you are not as bad like um Andale. no we are not are you sure yes it's all right um i have to be on my way now meanwhile are you guys going my way let me drop you guys off maybe you just drop us at home okay. so all right enter the car i would not tolerate any discussions about her again she's my girl i've chosen to marry her and none of you will stop me. But Dad, you're making the wrong choice. That girl is a bad girl, Dad. She, she doesn't suit you, Dad. 
You, you, you need to listen to me. Father. Why don't you let me worry for me? Huh? Dad. Marrying that girl will be the worst mistake of your life. I wouldn't want you to fall into that trap. Please, Dad. I don't want you to, to have anything to do with her. There are some other better girls out there that suits your, your prestige. Enough! Yeah, 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 yeah. If I ever hear that you ever threaten her again, you will spend some months with the police. I promise you that. Mm -hmm. Dad. Yeah. Now get out. Dad, you, you need to get out. Dad, I know exactly what I'm saying. I know exactly what I am saying, Dad. You're still standing there. What do I call this? What affront? What disrespect? Don't let this weigh you down. These kids are pushing me beyond my limit. And if they push me to the wall, I will bounce back. There won't be any need for that. There is every need for it. In the midst of all this, there still remain your kids. See, they want the best for you. So you must listen to them. And I am their father. And I know exactly what I'm doing. Even at that, you still need to listen to them. Um, I'm done speaking with Sochi and the Neka. How did it go? You need to ask Sanderlin who is the father of our son. Why should I do that? But it's none of my business. It is your business because Andalin says she doesn't know who is the father of her son. What? Yes. What do you want? I want us to talk. There is nothing to talk about. Leave. Nika, please. Just hear me out. I beg you. Did I just hear you say please? You just said please. Why are you trying to make a fool of yourself? I thought you were boasting about marrying our father with or without our consent. Why are you here pleading? I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. So, please, I want to talk to you. So, what do you want us to talk about? Huh? Listen, I'm a changed person. I am no longer the underling you used to know back there in school. I have changed. Honestly, all things have passed away. Scope. Lamba of the day. Tell me something else. No, tell me what I don't know. Nigga, I'm telling you the truth. I, I'm a changed person, mm. honestly. I'm sorry about my past life. And I have let all of that go. Please don't let it haunt me for the rest of my life. I beg you. Sochi, please. Maybe you should understand our point. We are not against you in any way. Do you get? All we are saying is, you should stay very far away from our very father. Far. Stay far away from our household. Our father is never going to marry you. Not in this life. And that is final. Nick, let's go. Nick, Nick. please stop. Nick, but you're my friend now. Why are you? Nick, but you're doing this to me now. Nick, please. No. So you knew I was your friend and you were posting about marrying my I'm father. I'm sorry. Really? I'm sorry. Please get out. Nick, please. Okay. Nick. Nick.
this argument has to end. If what's happened in the past must remain a secret, no one must know that I am the father of Andalin's son. I am happy she does not know I am responsible for what happened that day. How do I end this saga? There are so many things about you that you did not tell me. I have told you everything about me. Except the irrelevant ones. So knowing the father of your son is not relevant? I don't like talking about it. Well, now you need to talk about it. I'm all ears. <sighs> okay. I'll tell you. I'm listening. <laughs> well, come to think of it. Why is it that you don't want to give our guy a chance? Hmm? I already told you that I'm the school boys. Okay, that aside, but that's what the big boys have. At least, again, you think and consider me. Mm hmm. No? Mm hmm. It's my policy, and I'm not going to break that because of you. Okay, see, nobody's asking you to go against your wish. All we're saying is just give him a chance, you know, try him and see what's going to happen. He's a very nice guy. Hmm? Never. Then, whoever you're giving all these food packages and all these assets must be a very lucky man. <laughs> very lucky man. You must be a very bad boy. Appreciate that. Obviously, he's a bad guy. Appreciate that, really. <laughs> but you know what? She's claiming not to want him now. We'll look for a very fine girl yeah, and give to our guy. I'm sure by the time she sees them, she'll be jealous. Yeah. A very beautiful one for that. Jealous? Who? Me? Yes, now. Oh, come on, sir. I know, I know. She's see Anna. She's, she's just woman because she has all it takes. I mean, you know, her shape. That's like her selling yeah. point. Her bad shape. I know there's no other person has this kind of shit. Maybe. I know there are many out here today. What are you even saying? But that's the truth now. Because of your shape and your sexy eyes. Mm. Hope you're enjoying the biscuit. If you need more, I can actually get you more. You're oh, fine? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. We just are in for a very nice girl for our, for our guy. Yeah. Hmm? See, she doesn't want to accept. We look for someone else in this school. Mm. She's saying she doesn't do small boys. Who is small? Is there any small boy yeah, or yeah. small girl? Don't oh, call it small. Yeah, because of the uniform. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I know you like the biscuit. <laughs> That's why I bought you your favorite. <clears throat> Okay. She's fine.
woke up in my room later that day and I discovered that my undies were tampered with. Meaning you were raped? Yes. And that is where the confusion is. How do you mean? When I realized that I was pregnant, I didn't know which of them to confront. So, I decided to let it die. Where can I find these boys? Their homes. What you both did is a violation of human rights. And it attracts prison terms. Ah, sir, please. Please, I beg you, just don't send us to jail. Hon honestly, what we did was out of ignorance. Please, sir. Please. Okay. I won't send you to, to jail. Only if you tell me the truth. I will talk, sir. But we didn't rape her. Yeah, yes, yes, sir. We, we, we didn't rape her. We didn't. And who did? Sir, sir, sir. I said, who did? We didn't. Our friend did. No. No, 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 sir, no, sir. Our friend. And it was the same person that asked us to drug our drink. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we, did, we didn't rape her. We did, we did it at all. My friend, put me in the right perspective so I know who to look for. We didn't rape her. It was our friend, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Please, sir. Sure the story you told me is the truth? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. I have no reason to lie to you. Yes, sir. We are telling the truth, sir. Believe us, please. Okay, you can go. You can go. Go. Just get out of my sight. Thank, 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 thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Eddie. Eddie has finished me. Can I advise you? Oh, oh yes, why not? Please go ahead. Forget about that girl. What? Yes. You see, one day she will find out the true father of her son. And you see, high level of hatred will set in. If care is not taken, that might lead to the death of your only son. Andalin is not 
harmful. She don't need to be harmful before revenging for what happened to her. You know, this is a very sensitive issue that needs to be properly taken care of. Hmm? And um, how does it sound in the ears of people that your wife have a child for your son? Ah! Oh, God. You see? It's now becoming complicated. Now you see what I'm talking about. But I love her, darling. I love her. I know. But don't allow what you feel for her to put your family under fire. Okay? Your family first. You have to get that into your ear, into your skull. Do you hear that? Family first. Yes, this sounds good though. Sounds true. Thank you for your advice. You're welcome, bro. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome, bro. Thank you. Become a better person. You went to become an irreverent. this but uh, it's a sacrifice I have to make for my family we have to end this relationship today I, I don't understand 
My family has taken a stand and I see reasons with them. So we have to let it go. It's for your good and for my family's sanity. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry. I'm letting go, baby. You're sweet and beautiful. The way you dare move your body. You dare make man go crazy. I'm letting go, baby. You're sweet and beautiful. The way you dare when your body. They make men go crazy. See, she gets everything, yaffa yaffa. If you for the front, thing, she get them, yaffa yaffa. For the back, she carry it well. She knows she's the girl. She's on the game, I'm telling you. Master planner, she no be your mess. Money for handy, back for grandy. It's a good hallelujah, and money for handy, yo. Anyhow we be, the money she want to you. I'm telling is ready for business. Sweet and beautiful, the way you dare move your body. You make man go crazy, I'm letting go, baby. You sweet and beautiful, the way you dare wear your body. You make men go crazy. 